Recently, I had a chance to use a battery-powered chainsaw. Uh, this is a Milwaukee M12 Fuel hatchet. Uh, it is powerful. Uh, a good friend of mine, we were clearing some property around a spring, and he pulled this out. He had a tractor. We were doing a lot of work, and he was doing small work with this little chainsaw. And so he said, try it out, and I did. And man, this thing is incredible. Now, I'm a prepper, and this is a prepping channel. But if you have property or you're trying to get a homestead together or you're doing a lot of work, this is a great way to do it. Guys, I want to use the best tools that I can use until I have to go to basic field craft. And we're actually going to compare this with a standard silky saw, one of the gone boys. And we're going to time it to see how long it takes. Uh, this will go for 120 cuts up to three inches. It's battery powered with the M12 fuel cells, uh, which fit your drills, fit a lot of other things. And so this is just something that if you're having to do a lot of work around your property, this is something that I wanted you guys to take a look at. Here's the box that it comes in, the M12 fuel. Now here it is pulled out of the box and this is the way it'll come. It has a cover for the chain. I mean, it looks like a little small chainsaw. Of course, you do have oil that you're gonna need to put in here and of course you can go by the manufacturer's suggestions and we'll check that out in a minute. Uh, but it does come with Red Lithium XC 4.0 battery and this is for the M12. Well, I did pick up an extra M12 and this is the 2.0. So this is going to give us a little bit more power, but this does really well. And then you also get your charging station. And of course, all the paperwork. Now the hatchet can come just like this. Uh, that's without the batteries. Uh, they run about $189. So, you know, when you're looking to buy, make sure that it does include the battery unless you already have this system. And it's the M12 battery system. I have some Milwaukee power tools, but they don't have the M12. But this kit did include one of the Red Lithium XC 4.0 M12 batteries and the charger. I believe these run about $269 with the whole kit. And the guy I bought it from threw in one of the M2 2.0 batteries. This is smaller, lighter weight, but uh, these are the ones that have really run the hatchet. Battery installation, pretty simple. It just goes straight into the back, locks in, and of course you can use the smaller one. There is a chain cover, it goes over it, it has a six inch blade. And guys, this is just a mini chainsaw. Uh, and then you have your tensionings right here. And then it also includes on the back here a small little tool that attaches to the body that you can use this. And it has a little flathead screwdriver on it. Of course, you know, your controls right here, but you have to depress these little buttons. That's your safety, and you've got to keep that depressed. Uh, when I was using it the first time, it's a little bit awkward to be able to go ahead and manipulate that little small little safety. As you can see, I'm almost starting it. I haven't put oil in this. I wanted to show you how that works. Uh, the handle it has a rubberized finish on it. There's rubberized right here at the top of the motor. And then you have this little plastic grip. And this is going to allow you to grip at different kind of angles according to how you're cutting. Right here next to the blade, we have metal bucking spikes. So that way you can lock this in while you're cutting. Let me go ahead and open this up. Uh, this is where your oil goes. It's actually your bar and chain oil. And uh, this is translucent so you can kind of watch to see how your oil is doing picked up some bar and chain oil at Lowe's and so uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill this up it tells you to do that before you get started the chain is self lubricating as long as you have oil in here of course again you can watch this and how it see how it fills up what well, doesn't take a lot well I should have been paying more attention I just dumped oil all over my table here um, but that's what happens when you get behind the camera. But you want enough to where this can go in without oil pointing out or pouring out. Very simple, very simple. And then too, you can take the flat head of your little tool here and be able to open this in case this gets hot. For some reason you can't open it. Fits right here on the nail. It's got a small hole, you can mount this right to your wall. 
And according to the box, this will make 120 cuts with one charge, one full charge. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just see how many we can do. We may not get 120, but we're gonna try to get whatever we can, see how it goes. Also, we're gonna monitor our oil, see how it goes. We'll take our cover off. It says to run this for about 30 seconds uh, once you fill it up with oil. So I'm gonna press down. Okay, we did it about 30 seconds and we're just gonna check it out. And I'm sure there are other uh, chains available if you wear these out. Looks like a pretty solid little system. So let's get to it. Now we look like we have about a three inch cedar tree. This is dead. I'm trying to clear out some room for a natural spring that we're putting together. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and try it on this. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Looks like we're right at three inches. So, isn't that beautiful? And that cedar smells good too. The one thing you gotta watch is getting that safety. And I find that the thumb of my hand is the best way. Trying to get it this way doesn't seem to want to work as well. So I'm gonna hit right here. We're just gonna cut this limb, cut off a few pieces. We've got this braced up so it makes it a little easier. Gotta make, gotta make sure you stay on that safety because it'll your thumb will slide off. But this thing is cutting great. Man, there's hardly any vibration. I mean, it just really cuts well. I'm gonna cut back some of these limbs. Now we're gonna cut a piece with a silky saw and then we're gonna cut it with the hatchet. Okay, not bad for a handsaw. Now with the hatchet. <laughs> Definitely quicker. <laughs> I don't know about six times quicker, we'll time it. Still have a lot of oil still left. I brought extra if I needed it, but you need to keep track of that because you don't want your chainsaw to run dry. This is the little beast. <laughs> 
Guys, I've been out here for 45 minutes and that includes getting my camera set up and all the stuff in between and we got this wood cut really fast. And guys, it will do a lot more. Uh, in fact, I've still got plenty of oil in here. I guess I'm about halfway through, so we're still going strong. It says 120 cuts. This is probably half of that and it would easily do double this. We have this small little tool. It's a little wrench with a flathead screwdriver. Right here, you can adjust your blade tension. Uh, has a small screwdriver again for this, and uh, just great to have this attached. Snaps into place. The only thing I really was having any issues with is this little safety. Uh, when you're grabbing it, you've got to hit it just the right way. It's got to be fully depressed. And so uh, sometimes when I was really getting odd angles, I had a little hard time. Sometimes I would actually take my middle finger hit the trigger and then I could hit this button this way or it made it a little bit easier but uh, as far as anything negative to say about this that would be the only thing I could think of is just this is a little more difficult to get to but if you ever need to let that go it's going to stop the saw and so it's a great safety feature I wouldn't disable that so guys I know this isn't my regular prepping video but we're using this to be better prepared so I just thought it'd be a great way to get in here and show you guys a really cool tool there are a lot of cheaper options out there. In fact, I was at Lowe's. They had a number of different brands. Uh, I didn't see anything really high brand, but um, really I was surprised that Milwaukee makes these, but they make a bunch of different stuff. And um, I'm not endorsed by Milwaukee by any stretch of the imagination. I did purchase this, um, and I just wanted to show you guys what you could do. I mean, instead of actually cutting down large trees, you can cut down small trees, use that for firewood, uh, use it for your fire pit, use it for, you know, you're just going out and having fun and building fires. Great little tool, doesn't smoke up, doesn't smell, um, you know, it just runs, and it runs really well. So uh, the Milwaukee M12 Fuel Hatchet, uh, I think this is a great little item. If you have property to clear, if you want to add firewood, or if you just want an accessory, instead of pulling out the big chainsaw and getting it ready, you've got something really fast and handy. And guys, if you found a little small battery-powered chainsaw that really works good for you, put it down in the comments. You know, it's great to see different options. Uh, I'm not going to start reviewing these. I just wanted to show this one. But I'm sure that there are others out there that are pretty decent as well. But for me, this is a keeper. And it should be because I paid $275 for it. <laughs> guys, check out Sportsman's Guide for all kind of accessories, shooting, hunting, camping, military surplus from all over the world uh, it's one of my go-to sources and you get twenty dollars off for every hundred dollar or more purchase using such s-o-o-t-c-h in the coupon code and if you're a member of their buyers club you get free shipping and that really comes in handy when you're ordering jerry cans <laughs> so check out sportsman's guide great resource be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic This is a little Tasmanian devil, is what it is. <laughs> I mean, this thing just runs. I love this thing. <laughs>